As you've seen me do my foundation loads of times, I've already done it. I've used Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream and Magic Foundation. For this look, we want a bit of a brightening effect around the eyes, so I'm applying some concealer underneath my brows just to give it a bit more of a clean look, but also to brighten the eye area. I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard. If you want something a little bit more lightweight, then use the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. If your eyeshadow tends to crease, now would be the time to apply primer. I'm going straight in with the MAC Shaping Powder in Emphasize and I'm taking that all over the eyelid and I'm also using it to set my concealer underneath my eyebrows. To lighten the brow bone even more, I'm using MAC's Vanilla Eyeshadow. And while I'm at it, I'm applying that over the entire eyelid. As I'm going to be using a matte eyeshadow, I want this area to be completely soft and dry. And the fact that it's quite a lighter eyeshadow than my skin tone, it's going to allow the colours of the eyeshadow to be a little bit more intense. The two colours I'm going to be using are from the Naked 3 palette. When I opened the palette, I noticed that the first colour is almost identical to Vanilla by MAC. So if you don't have Vanilla, you can use the colour Strange. The first colour I'm using is this one called Nuna. This is actually a medium brown, but online it's really been described as a rosy plum colour, which I would agree with. I'm applying that on the outer half of the mobile eyelid and just taking it softly into the crease area. I'm not going to use this colour to define the crease, I'm just taking it slightly above the crease. And then using a fluffy blending brush and working that backwards and forwards to diffuse the colour. Using Wedge by MAC, which is a muted beige matte eyeshadow, and we're running that through the socket. By lifting the first colour slightly into the crease, it allows us to transition nicely from the rosy plum to the muted beige without it all being too intense on the eye. The next colour I'm taking is a satin finish eyeshadow called Dark Side, and this has been described as a deep taupe mauve colour. We're keeping this on the outer third of the mobile eyelid. We blended Nuna halfway across the eye, and then we're just going to blend this on the outer third and fade it into Nuna. Once we've applied the colour, we're going in with the blending brush to blend and transition those colours together. Again, anytime you lay the colour down, always keep it in the place that you want it and then use the blending brush to do the work to fade it out. See how we've created this nice smoke, but we haven't used super dark eyeshadows to achieve it. Using the smaller end of the brush that come with the palette, I'm blending the first shade, Nuna, underneath the lower lashes and again only taking this halfway across. And then using the blending brush to connect that outer edge to the top lid. Then over there, I'm going in with Dark Side and applying that again over the top and blending. So we've now mimicked the colours that we've got on our top lid. Going in with the colour Strange or Vanilla by MAC, I'm going to apply this to the inner corners of the eyes on the top lid. So although we've got the smoke on the outer edge, applying a lighter colour in this area is going to allow our eyelids to look bigger. I'm going back in with Wedge by MAC. With a light hand and the tip of my blending brush, I'm making sure the connection from the outer edge to the top lid is a bit more seamless. And it also helps create that soft smoke. To give us that nice big bright doe eyed look, I'm applying Inner Rim Liner by Tarte Cosmetics. As we want to keep this look really soft, we're not going to apply any liquid liner, but I'm using my Urban Decay All Nighter Eyeliner right along the very root of the top lashes. And I'm using my Zoeva 240 Luxe Petite Pencil Brush to really work that in. We don't want it to be visible as a liner, we just want very dark roots so that when we apply eyelashes, you can't see the band. I'm applying one coat of Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara to my top lashes, and then I'm going to be applying a couple of coats to my bottom lashes, leaving them to dry and then going back in again. For lashes, I'm using Max Number 35, and I think these are a mix of brown and black hair, which is really great for this look. They're also longest at the centre, which gives you that really wide-eyed, open look, which is what we're trying to achieve here. To bring even more attention to the eyes and give us that beautiful fluttery appearance, I'm applying these individual lashes by Peaches and Cream. I'm applying about eight of these across the lower lash line, making sure to leave a little gap in between each one. The last part to this look is to highlight the very inner corners of the eyes and I'm using Nylon by MAC. Wearing a reflective eyeshadow here will really draw the focus directly to your eyes. As I mentioned earlier, we're going for that really nice brightening effect to the eyes. We want to draw all the attention to that area, so we're going to lighten underneath using concealer. And I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. To set that in place, I'm using my Soap & Glory Kick-Ass Concealer Duo. I really love the powder from this because it's really brightening, so you don't necessarily have to use a bright concealer. You can just set it with the powder and it will lighten underneath your eyes. And the bonus with this is it's a high street product, so it's affordable. 
Next I'm taking Max Pro Sculpt in the colour Sculpt and I'm using that to just warm up the hollows of the cheeks around my hairline and down the sides of my nose. I also went over that with a tiny bit of Hoola by Benefit. For blush I'm using my Luminoso Baked Powder Blush by Milani. As we've got rosy plum colours on the eyes, wearing a bit of peach on our cheeks is just going to add a bit of freshness to the face and brighten everything up. On my lips I'm using Patisserie by MAC, then I'm going to blot that off and over the top of it I'm applying MAC's Paint and Polish Lip Pencil in Innocent. Hey everyone, so I hope you enjoyed this soft, sultry, Bambi looking eye. When I say Bambi I mean kind of innocent and still sexy. So this would be ideal if you've got a daytime date lunch or you're meeting up with the girls but you still want to look sort of glam but not OTT. What makes this eye look softer than other smoky eyes is because we've gone with slightly lighter colours for the smoke. We've also not added any eyeliner apart from a little darkening at the roots with a cold pencil. And we've gone straight in with the eyelashes so that gives your eye a bit more of an innocent look and a bit more flattery with the lashes. And also not adding any eyeliner to the waterline. It makes your eyes look a little bit bigger and keeping the lips quite pink is fresh and youthful looking. This kind of eye look is suitable for most people. Even if you've got hooded eyes, you can still do this soft sultry look because there's nothing defining about it you're not doing a cut crease although we've put a soft color in this part of our crease you can still do the same if you've got a fold on your lid just apply that color above and if you're applying the dark colors lift the hood of your eye up apply the color let the lid lay naturally and then go over that as well don't forget all the products that I've used are listed below and I try to put links to all the UK and US sites because usually one of those will ship worldwide so even if you're outside of the US and the UK you should still be able to buy it from those links if you've got any suggestions for tutorials that you want to see this year or in the next few months then leave them in the comment section below lots of you do ask me for tutorials that I've already done so if I don't do one that you suggested it's likely that I have already done it or I can't find a suitable model for it a lot of you ask for hooded eye tutorials although I don't have hooded eyes I still try to cater for your eye shape if you've got a special request leave it below and I will do my best to try and cater for you so as usual thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so if you've missed my previous tutorials you can click on these now and it'll take to those don't forget you can follow me on facebook twitter and instagram and the links to those are in the description bar below and those are all at show me makeup thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye